How can anyone believe that Bill Moore wasn't actually on the take for a simple golden handshake or two? He repeatedly denied that he was paid in any way for his cooperation. No matter how much we try to cover up shady activity with high-sounding rhetoric, one of the basic elements of human nature is a childlike desire for discovery. As Maxwell Maltz, the 1950s pop psychologist and author of Psycho-Cybernetics, put it, Man is essentially a goal-seeking creature. Most of us pay for this right, taking advantage vacations, or taking adventure vacations and indulging in hobbies that satisfy this urge. Since the task of simply having enough cash to survive takes up most of our time and energy, and our society is set up for most of us to be the grease, not the wheels. How apropos. Chapter 10, True Adventure, from... Project Beta, the story of Paul Benowitz, national security and the creation of a modern UFO myth by Greg Bishop. He's going to be my guest on Blog Talk Radio this coming Friday. We rescheduled for this coming Friday. Friday from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. The link is in the description box. I will be interviewing Greg Bishop, author of Project Beta. Check that out. You might also want to check out my blog. The link is in the description box and also my website, uh, the uh, platformforthefuture.com, which has uh, solid political action items for people to use and goals to achieve for effecting change in this country. Uh, so once again, Blog Talk Radio, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern on Fridays. And this week I will have Greg Bishop, author of Project Beta and also well known for UFO Mystic and uh, a couple of other blog sites. Um, so, welcome to another edition of The Stench of Truth. I see that some others are weighing in on the reality of what is going on around the world with all of the revolts, and that is that it is food, primarily, that is driving this thing. The lack thereof or the expense thereof. And remember that in all things that the government tells us, whatever official sources seem to want to say, it is all a big fucking lie. Just like they try to tell us that the unemployment rate is around 9% when everybody knows it is at a minimum double that and probably well into the 20 percentile range. The same thing goes for the supposed lack of inflation, which is utter fucking bullshit. And that also goes for the CPI. Now remember, some of you may notice you're going to be getting a little bit more in your paycheck. You did not get a raise. This is the undercutting of Social Security that Obama put through in the form of lowered payments to FICA, which is the dedicated revenue stream for Social Security. So while you might take home a few extra dollars, this increases the likelihood or the nearness of fucking Social Security problems. I have already detailed a solution to this. If anybody cares to address the fucking problem, remove the fucking income gap cap for FICA. Every dollar that every motherfucker earns is subject to FICA tax. No fucking cap. Problem solved, done, end, and fucking finished. Social Security solvent beyond where you can fucking see. Period. Now, as for what's going on around the world, what are the roots of the food problem? Well, one thing is alternative energy. All this planting of crops for biofuel, which sounds like a really fucking great idea to get you off of natural gas and oil and all these other things. 
Sounds like a great fucking proposition. Except when you consider how many fucking people are starving in this fucking world. How fucking stupid can you be? Well, the fact is they're not stupid. It's being driven by a profit motive, just like everything else. They can get more for selling corn as biofuel than they could for selling it as food. You want to know why? Because it's subsidized. Who is it that is in the energy making business? It's not your local small businessman. It is fucking giant motherfucking corporations that do not need any further subsidization. And yet they take it because they love their corporate welfare. So we have a shortage. And we also have an increase in price because of inflation that they tell us does not fucking exist. Who ends up benefiting? The rich. Corporations and Wall Street, just like always, just like forever. That's the nature of the fucking game. Now, I want to bring us back to the United States and what's going in, on in Wisconsin. Let me make a couple of things clear. For those of you who subscribe to this idea that anybody who holds a left-leaning position is automatically a communist or a socialist. And if you're on the right, you're a conservative. That's all fucking bullshit. Just words. They carry a tremendous amount of baggage. That's the foil of our fucking language. You can't even speak without people coming up with a word or a term or something to fucking categorize you. Look at the basic fucking facts and use your goddamn mind to try and figure out what the hell is going on. No union has bankrupted anybody ever. And yet there are people who adhere to an ideology that is foisted on them from rich fucking billionaires that says public sector unions are the fucking problem. No. If pension plans are in trouble, it is because Wall Street sold them securities that were fucking worthless and they knew they were fucking worthless. And not a fucking one of them has even faced the merest hint of a fucking charge in any court in this country. All of them should be in fucking jail. And yet, you have people in Wisconsin who are fighting just to keep their fucking job and the right to bargain collectively. Being attacked as the source of the problem. When this entire country if you added up every fucking union pension plan in this entire fucking country, it would not amount to a half of a fucking percent, a tenth of a fucking percent of the trillions of dollars that have been given out by the Federal Reserve to corporations and banks to shore them up so that they can hoard it and not even lend it to people who want to have a fucking business in this country. And they won't even think about assisting the states, but they'll give 500 or 800 fucking billion dollars to a foreign bank. Tell me how this makes sense. And if Wall Street sold a pension plan, a fucking piece of shit security, they should be held accountable. Hold fucking Wall Street accountable. I see now that the fucking cock brothers, the funders of Governor Walker and the entire anti-union movement up there in Wisconsin and around this fucking country have been targeted by anonymous 
That's really fucking great. I hope they crash every one of their fucking corporations and their fucking computer systems. And if you want to assist, you can boycott some of the things that they're involved with. Take a look around. You can find it very easily. Georgia Pacific is one. Anything made by them, boycott it. The cock! brothers. Their entire motivation in life is profit. They paid for, with good money, the governor of fucking Wisconsin. And they are, God damn it, going to get what they paid for. You people who still have this idea in your head and still want to follow this ideology that is fucking bullshit. Answer me one fucking question. If the unions had so much fucking power like you all seem to think they do, why is this even a fucking issue? Because they would have killed it a long time ago if they had any of the power that you think they do or that you've been spoon-fed that they do as fucking propaganda. From the cock brothers. So hooray for fucking anonymous. And let's not forget that there is a provision in the bill that would bust the unions in Wisconsin because that's exactly what it is. It's a union busting measure, not a deficit addressing measure. This has nothing to do with economics and everything to do with busting unions and making everybody a minimum wage surf to the likes of the Koch brothers. In that bill, the government of Wisconsin, I, I'm not sure, I'm not going to say that the governor has the exclusive right to do this because I'm not... 100% uh, sure on the exact language of the bill, but they have the ability to sell some of their publicly owned power generation plants. Which is fucking bullshit anyway, because privatization always leads to higher costs and reduced service. And bigger profits for the private industries. Guess who is in the power generation business? The Koch brothers! Do you suppose that when they get around to selling those power plants that the Koch brothers might be the ones buying them in no bid contracts? And you would begrudge a union for trying desperately to hold on to one sliver of fucking something that they legally and lawfully negotiated for while you have a governor that is completely bought and paid for and a stooge of the fucking cock brothers who are multi-fucking billionaires. And if you want to talk about deficit and debt and everything else, look no further than fucking Wall Street who shisted and shafted everybody in this fucking country. And look no further than the Federal Fucking Reserve who bails out foreign banks but can't help a fucking state budget. Put the blame where it deserves and use your fucking head instead of believing the propagandistic swill that is being poured down your fucking throat by the cock brothers and their fucking ilk. Thank you. Good night.